Hello, Gemini's. This is you versus them for the 8th through the 14th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. If you are interested in a personal reading, please check out the website at pinkarianjim.com. If for some reason you're having issues with that, um, you guys feel free to email me at allforone.oneforall74 at gmail. All right, guys, let's see what's going on for you. What's been going on for you guys? Page of Wands. Showing an interest in something from the past. Um, pages are young energy. Maybe there's something that you are just, something has just piqued your interest, something that you are wanting to explore, okay? Hmm. Maybe an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius individual that is significant to you guys. Let's see what's been going on with them. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Feeling happy. Um... And I'm getting, I don't know if this is a relationship or whether it's just like, you know, a personal gratification, personal um, emotional stability, whether, you know, by themselves or in a family, like a familial setting with relatives, children, you know, parents, that sort of thing. Um, not sure if it's an intimate connection just yet, but we will definitely check it out and see. Let's see, what is keeping Gemini from this individual? Maybe a Pisces you guys are thinking about here. Queen of Swords. Maybe you haven't figured out what you want to do just yet. There's definitely something that has piqued your interest um, I think that, you know, there's something that you guys have learned. There's an interest in something from the past, but I don't think you know just yet what to do with it. I think that you you are taking some time to kind of um, figure out. Um, you need more information, I feel, regarding whatever it is that you you have this newfound interest in something you're studying something you're learning um you're gathering information is what i'm getting here okay um not ready to act on something just yet okay now for others of you i'm feeling that what's keeping you from this person is the fact that you feel like you know maybe they will maybe they're angry Maybe they're going to freaking cut your head off um, with their words. Um, maybe you feel like, you know, they have uh, a barrier up, like they have blocked you guys out that they will not let you get a word in edgewise. So with that being said, for a lot of you, I'm feeling that there's something that you want to say to someone. There's something you want to suggest to someone, something you want to start. But um, I'm feeling that you're not really sure how to uh, initiate this. If it's even the right time to initiate it. Okay. What's keeping them from Gemini? What's keeping this person from Gemini? What's keeping this person from Gemini? Nine of Cups. They're happy. They're happy. They're focused on themselves. And I'm feeling like this person... Because nines are single cards. So I'm feeling like this person... Um, is happy being single. They're happy not being responsible for anyone else or, or anyone's feelings for that matter. Okay. Very Piscean energy here. What's currently going on for Gemini? Death. 
there's an ending here currently. There's something that's ending. But I feel like you guys are also changing. Because this situation with this individual, I feel, has been over for a while. And for a while, I, I would say anywhere from like 13 months. 10 to 13 months ago, or 9 to 13 months ago, um, but, and this relationship was a happy one at one point in time, I'm, I'm getting that what's, what's ending here is certain things that you were doing before, certain ways that you viewed things before, um, certain ways that you maneuvered. I'm getting that that is that is something that is changing here within you. What's currently going on for them? That Scorpio energy there. What's currently going on for them? Two of Wands. This person has a bird's eye view. They know exactly what they want to do. Um... And, and this is somebody that's like at a crossroads. They know exactly what they want to do. And anytime when someone knows, they're looking down. So they see everything. Sometimes they can miss out on the opportunity because they're not taking advantage of, of what's right in front of them. It's almost like dragging ads, you know, um, maybe waiting for something better something like that okay needing to decide what it is that they want to do because again we have the ten of cups and we have the nine of cups here i'm getting that yeah what's keeping them from you is the fact that they are supposedly happy single but are they really happy single um, so I'm, I'm getting that they're at a crossroads between remaining single or involving themselves in a relationship because uh, what I'm getting here is that there's an opportunity for this person, like there's options on the table for them. I'm feeling it, even though the seven of cups is not here. Um, they have a choice here to be, to remain single or be in a relationship, whether with you guys or with someone else, what I'm getting. Okay. Aries Piscean energy is present here. Scorpio energy as well. But they're kind of like, they're sitting on their hands. They're not really doing much. They're just being in the moment. Okay. <clears throat> What's influencing Gemini here? What's influencing Gemini currently? Ace of Cups. I'm feeling you guys are... Like, there's something that you've healed from. You're loving yourself. You have self-respect. But I'm getting that there's somebody that you care for. You care for this individual. And maybe that's where the interest is coming from. There's something that, that's changed in you regarding this situation that has ended. And I'm getting that you guys want to offer something to someone. You want to offer something to someone here. With this Ace of Cups, Scorpio energy again there. Hmm. What's influencing them currently? The hanged man, they're not doing anything. Like I said, they, they're like sitting on their hands. They're not really doing anything. They're sitting up here with this Two of Wands, knowing exactly what they want to do, but they're kind of acting like they don't know. Like, I'm good being single, but but really they're not. I, I feel like this person wants a relationship, and I, I'm feeling like, you know, there's going to eventually be like this missed opportunity here. But right now they're not doing anything. They're kind of just letting things be. Whatever will be, will be. Que sera, sera. You know. 
Strong Pisces, Aries here. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. What's coming in for Gemini? Two of Cups, love, 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 love. I feel like there's a reconnection. There's a relationship, mutual feelings. There's a choice to be made here. And I'm feeling like, you know, there's definitely love between the two of you. That's what's changed within you guys, I feel. Like you're looking at this person from a different perspective. You're looking at them from a different perspective. Hmm. But they also have the two of wands, also a choice. What are they going to do? I think you guys know exactly how you feel and what you want. Hmm. What's coming in for them? Eight of Cups. Walking away. I think this person definitely is choosing a path. I think they're gonna they're they they are gonna come out of this energy where they are very um I wanna say indecisive. They come across like they know exactly what they want, but deep down inside they want something else than what they actually display to other people. And I think they they come out of that that crossroads, being at a crossroads type of energy and really being decisive and going towards that. Because where they're at right now is kind of on the fence. And I feel like they're coming off the fence. And I'm feeling like that's why what's coming in for you is a two of cups. Two of cups plus the eight of cups. Two of cups. Somebody's coming back around. You guys are coming back around to each other. I don't know who has to make the first move here, but somebody's definitely coming back around in this situation. There was a breakup here. Somebody walked away initially. Whoever walked away initially, I feel like it's coming back around. Okay. What's the advice for Gemini? The advice for Gemini. Ooh. The devil. Don't be scared. Face your fears. And I'm feeling like your fear is being vulnerable. Don't fight this. The most important advice here I see is you got this. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of your feelings. Don't feel intimidated by how you feel like the other person will react. If you guys are the ones that actually walks away initially and need to make amends in this situation, don't be scared. That's, that's all I'm hearing. Okay. What's the advice for them? Seven of Pentacles. Stay hopeful. Wait. Wait. Don't give up. Take everything into account. Their own behavior, their own words, their own actions. Wait. Because there's a lot of time that's been invested here is what I'm feeling, what I'm getting. There's more to be invested in order to work on this. Hmm. 
look inside I feel like they need to do okay what's the outcome for Gemini the moon <laughs> Pisces cancer individual I see Taurus here the point is it's like who knows this is what I'm getting here with the moon in this spread it's up to you I'm getting very strongly that what happens in this situation is up to you because I'm getting that your feelings you're hiding how you feel for this individual how your perspective has changed about them you're keeping it to yourself there are hidden feelings here so until there is actually a revelation who knows what are you gonna do what are you gonna do I think you will figure it out though I'm getting strongly that you will figure out look at this see this five of cups under here right now you're feeling regretful you're feeling like all is lost here all is not lost here okay some of you need to hear this see those two of cups back there they're right there on the table it's still here this connection is still very present okay what's the outcome here for them ten of pentacles the ultimate committed stable relationship need I say more Virgo energy there some of you guys may have Virgo in your chart but Scorpio's here, Cancer's here, um, strong Piscean energy is here, um, Aries is here, I feel Libra, maybe um, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Okay guys, so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.